here's a quick tutorial of how to draw a hummingbird. And this goes in line with a lot of instruction I give on how to draw various animals or living things. And I always think it's exceptionally important to start with the anatomy. Start with the skeleton. And once you have a good understanding of the base, kind of what's underneath everything, it helps you picture what the final piece should look like. And if the final piece looks a little off, it's usually because there's something wrong with the base. There's something wrong with how you structured the drawing. So this is a hummingbird skeleton. I just Googled images of hummingbird skeleton and used that as a reference. And then focus on what are those important points, those important shapes that I should capture when I'm sketching out my main hummingbird. And then I find the shapes. I find the three-dimensional shapes, the pyramids I'm sketching in here for the wing, the oval, the circles, the spheres, and I slowly sketch those in because that'll help me with the final piece, understanding how to make it look three-dimensional and full. You want weight to the final piece. And then I use my Micron archival ink pens. I always start with an eye if I'm drawing a bird. It helps with mapping out the proportions of the rest of the bird. In this one I have the light sketch of the bird underneath what I'm drawing. I can still kind of see that. And then I slowly build up the image through using, this is a one point and a three point micron pen. And I'm using the two different um, thicknesses so that the drawing automatically has some three dimensional aspects to it because I'm using a thicker line and a thinner line. And then I'm just focused on looking at the reference photo and trying to capture the important details to truly have this look like a interesting hummingbird drawing. And with this, so with the, the wings that I'm drawing, I'm drawing them a little sloppy, knowing that I'm gonna go back in and use a scribble technique to give it energy and depth. And also the feathers of a hummingbird kind of are very thin, so they kind of layer on top of one another. And the scribble technique actually allows you to like build up lines so that they, you can see one feather over another feather. And then I go in at the end of this drawing, you'll see I'll go in with the one point micro pen and really just try to capture details on the outer edges, meaning the top and the bottom so that it looks more three dimensional. You'll also notice I turn the paper a lot and I didn't even do it as much as I usually do if I wasn't videotaping this because anything I can do to make the um, line more natural to where my hand strokes go, the better. So if I need to flip the drawing so I can draw the beak, I'm gonna flip the pad of paper. 